Welcome back. Today, another episode of Hughes and Views. And today we're talking Toy Story 4. So what better place to do it than in Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios? Do you want to know what we thought about Toy Story 4? Stick around. movie that we talked about was Hocus Pocus, one of Karen's favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, right. And we're giving a copy, uh, our copy of Hocus Pocus away to one lucky random commenter, commenter on that video and let's pick a winner. And the winner of Hocus Pocus is Traveling Mayhem. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we will reach out or reach out to us, DM, Instagram, or Kevin at Hughes and Bruce.com, and we'll get your details and send you out our slightly used, viewed one time, <laughs> one time. copy one of Hocus time. Pocus. <laughs> Toy Story 4, released June 2019. It's November now, so we're a little behind the curve. Directed by Josh Cooley, Disney, Pixar, Animated Studios slash hashtag Walt Disney Pictures and it's the fourth and the franchise and the first one was 1995 yes. so about 25 years I was a little apprehensive and that's why now it's November and we're just watching Toy Story 4 for the first time because to me the story sort of wrapped up and ended at the end of Toy Story 3 so when 4 came out I was kind of like I don't know how they're gonna continue the story and like I said it sort of wrapped up in a nice nice neat little bow when Andy went off to college and gave away his toys so I don't know so spoiler alert a little bit of the plot so it's um, Bonnie now has all of Andy's toys. She's heading off to kindergarten. Yeah, she's a little nervous. A little nervous. Woody so tags cute. along. She ends up making um, a toy or a little she made a doll out of a, a sport. No, she literally made she a friend. She literally made a friend. Forky. Um, Woody takes it upon himself to look after Forky to make sure he stays loyal to Bonnie or doesn't try to jump in Woody's the... Woody's so loyal to his kid. That Which he's looking out for like, Bonnie oh. by looking after Forky. <laughs> so, little RV trip, uh, reunited with Bo Peep, oh. who was not in Toy Story 3. Right. Um, and then, kind and of. And now a, we know why. They kind of go back and give you that backstory about how Bo Peep sort of got separated from the group. Right. The story starts Which was with a little cool. flashback, and they had to explain why Bo Peep wasn't in yep. 3 which the writers say sort of that the reason Bo Peep wasn't in 3 is because she technically wasn't Andy's toy. She right, was, she's Molly. She was Molly's. She's and, Molly's. That, and in that movie, the time frame, Molly wouldn't have been a baby anymore, so they wouldn't have had a baby lamb right. in, you know, in her room. It and, makes perfect sense. And they went to that daycare where all the toys were in the daycare, and, and she's a porcelain doll right. lamb, so, so why, she have why would a porcelain right. doll go? So right. that's why they it kind of... It makes perfect sense. Right, so Woody and Bo Peep reunited, Spoiler, at the end, Woody decides to leave the toys and Bonnie, because he's really not being played with anymore anyway, she's kind of lost interest in him, so he goes off to become a um, lost, lost toy, toy with Bo Peep. Not that anybody needs to know, but the major characters, the cast, right? So, Woody, Tom Hanks, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Tim Allen, right? Yeah. He looked puzzled there for a Well, because I feel like... Buzz wasn't really a major, major character in this one like he has been in the past three. 
I mean, right? If you think back on it, it's really about Woody. About but Woody and Buzz, Buzz sort of well, comes and goes. Buzz but has, I wouldn't consider him a major character in this. Buzz story. has a transformation that we'll talk about when we talk about the, the storyline. But um, so little uh, Bo Peep, Annie Potts, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Potato Head is not a big prominent character in this right? movie either. But he's voiced by Don Rickles, who had passed away before this. So they used the 25 years of voice archives for his character. So wow, I did not know that. Another couple notable. New new character. Duke. Quirky? No. Oh, Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. So funny. The Canuck Keanu with all Reeves. the luck. Keanu Reeves. And then Forky. Hilarious. Oh, and then there's Combat Carl, which is um, oh my God, hilarious. Which is Carl, Carl Weathers. Weathers um, <laughs> AKA Apollo, who's also in The Mandalorian. Oh, now, yeah. the, new, the new series, Star Wars series. We'll talk about on that later. Disney Plus. And so, the reason that that character is called Combat Carl is I guess they couldn't use the term G.I. Joe. So, I guess originally in the movie. Like they didn't have the they didn't have to a license, mean? whatever. Oh, yeah, that's so. funny. So, I think it was Tom Hanks that actually came up with it. I think in an interview I saw with him, he actually. I guess half jokingly said, "We'll just call him Combat Carl." It and, works. And they ran with it. I didn't think anything of it. Like I just assumed that was a toy I'd never heard of before. You know? Yeah. Released in June of this year, so it hasn't been out a long time. I feel but, like it's been out longer than it has. Like I feel like we were so late to the party watching it. We gotta figure out where we're going first, right? Well received. Some fans say that there was no need for the storyline to go on. That's kind of how I felt. But I. I think it did 120 million opening weekend, and to date, it's done worldwide. It's done over a billion dollars in revenue. Oh, holy! To your point, though, I I kind of agree. I was really apprehensive about Toy Story 4, which is partly why it's taken us so long to watch it. We're um, huge Toy Story fans in our family. We've seen them over and over and over again, and I feel like. The story really wrapped up at the end of Toy Story 3 well, the, when Andy gave his toys the, away. The, the years that like they were released was like the prime years for our kids to be young. So. Well, right. Our youngest essentially grew up as the, Andy grew up. So as you can imagine, these stories are oh, right, kind of right. not too far off in age through within this us. series. So when Andy sort of gave his toys away, like everybody will tell you, I cannot watch the end of Toy Story 3 without sobbing. But I felt like they really kind of wrapped up the story. So when they announced the Toy Story 4, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how this is, how are they going to continue the story? But I mean, how can you tell Pixar and Disney, honestly? Like, it was amazing. All right, the overall story, your opinion. I was shocked at how much I loved it. Like I said, I was a little bit apprehensive so about you, it. I wasn't sure. You potentially were one of the fans that said that the story should have just ended and they yep. didn't need to. Because, because, truth be told, I always said that I was a Buzz Lightyear fan, but in truth, I was an Andy fan. So when Andy went off to college and I was like, okay, that sort of wraps up his story, I, I didn't really, I didn't expect to love Toy Story 4 as much as I did. Right. Um, did the story need to be continued? Was there anything lacking? Probably not, but... It didn't um, need to be, no, but, right. but that said, it didn't seem like an unnecessary... Like, it was kind of interesting to see how they brought Bo Peep back into the story, and you know what I mean? Like, I found it really interesting, the way they did manage to continue it without it seeming forced. The storyline, I don't think, dictated that there was this, like, lingering questions that weren't answered. But right. another Toy Story, I'm all for it. Did they, did they, they did well with the story. It wasn't, I don't think they like phoned it in. No. Like it was a sequel. No, the whole storyline, the, the character um, transformation or the way they evolved, I think was great. Meaning, I think Buzz did have a bigger part than you think because he, he transformed to the new leader, essentially. He learned, you know, so he learned his inner voice. He kind of took over Woody's role a little bit. I guess, and he I guess, And then yeah. as it played out at the end, he needed that because he was essentially going to be the new leader. Yeah. And then the whole transformation of Woody becoming, uh, embracing a lost toy and the love story part of it. And him giving away his voice box oh to Gabby. Oh my God. So oh that, I God. think the story yeah. had, had some depth to it. Um, it had a ton of depth to it. Although the weird, the, the weird part of the Buzz taking the lead 
is that it starts out in your this stage is set that Dolly is the lead, the new leader and it's very right. prominent. She's in charge. Where Woody realizes, oh, it right. learns his place. Like he's really, he's not the leader of the toys. He's not the favorite toy. He's a forgotten toy. But then, once they leave the bedroom and the whole movie plays out, all of a sudden, Dolly's. Well, she wasn't there. Yeah, she was in the RV the whole time. Was she? Yes. See, I didn't even. So the, that, some of the some I, of the I guess comments, I just made your some point. of the comments yeah. I saw, they're like, well, how come she went from being the leader, of everybody, to like back? But I think early on they were just trying to make the point that Buzz wasn't the leader of the room. He wasn't the favorite toy anymore. So I think the storyline, they put a plenty plenty of depth to it, the whole thing, like I said. The, the, the love story angle, the the handing, the, the changing of the guard, Woody handing off sort of the leadership to, to Buzz, Buzz mm -hmm. finding his like his leadership skills or his, his inner voice. Oh my god, hilarious. What now, inner voice? Mission accomplished. Return to base. Go back to the RV? What about Woody? We're going home, Space Ranger. <sighs> Fall back. Spotted it. Retreat. There's two. Go. Time to fly. Exit the get back. Run out. Get out. Returning to Star Command. Okay. Okay. God, hilarious. It was a lot funnier, I think, than the previous Toy Stories were. Oh, maybe all the. I think they all have some pretty good humor too. They do, but this one to me was probably the funniest one of the four. And the ending was one of multiple endings they had that the writers. I saw an interview with the writers, um, the, the director, and a couple of the writers, and they had like multiple endings. And the one that they had decided on wasn't the one that ended up being in the movie. Really? Originally, they yeah, the ending they were going to use was. Everybody all ends up going back to Ga to to Bonnie's room, so I assume that means that everybody. Like he, so Bo meaning like Kate, I imagine Gabby and everybody, Bunny and Ducky. Bunny and Ducky. <laughs> Bunny and Ducky. A couple new two characters. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I think the one they went with I think works. I think worked the best for me personally. Well, me too because it's the one that we saw. It's oh, the one true. that it brought me to tears. Not gonna lie. So now Toy Story three and four. I'm sobbing at the end. Um, but that leads me to a question. Did they leave an opening for a Toy Story 5? I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think the, the writers and producers and have, all, have all acknowledged this is the last one. I feel like it has to be. Like, the fact that Buzz and Woody aren't together anymore is kind of like, oh, first of all, I'll tear my heart out. And second of all, that... I know I said when, when Andy went off to college that was the end of the story, but I think Buzz and Woody splitting up, parting ways was So this was a little bit the like them wrapping up the, 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 the story. toy stories. Mm -hmm. Wrapping up the toy story. Story. I see what you did there. It wasn't intentional. It makes it even better. <laughs> characters. Oh. Who are your favorites? Boy, I have so many. And what did you think about the new characters? In I movie? have so many favorites. Um, yeah, could you pick one? No. And, no, and then I can't. if you could pick one, is there one favorite over all of the Toy Stories, or was there a favorite at least in this Toy Story? Like I said, my favorite, I always said my favorite was Buzz, but deep down it was really Andy. Um, in this one, I gained a new appreciation for Woody and how loyal he is and thoughtful and caring he is. Um, but that said, I wouldn't say that he was my hands down favorite character. Gabby Gabby. We were just out for my early morning stroll. And look, <laughs> we met you. My name is Gabby Gabby, and this is my very good friend, Benson. Her character development in such a short time, you went from, oh my God, she's creepy and horrible, to, oh my God, I'm in love with this poor little, I mean, I'm gonna say little girl, little doll. Right. At first you, you don't know? like her, but then, right. then when she puts her like psychological tricks to work on. First she uses Forky to get all the backstory. So right, and in the, then in she the beginning uses that she against... seems kind of mean and manipulative, but, she but then you bit. learn her backstory and the reasons why, and it's like, oh my God, no wonder why she is the way she is. And then her ending is just, oh, loved it. Right, so the way she, loved the way she developed, that's a good new character. So my favorite yes. character, uh, that, okay. hard to pick a favorite. Yeah, but, you know, obviously the, the dynamic duo of Buzz and Woody are the two favorite characters, and then then you have an appreciation for characters that come and go. I mean, Duke, Duke Kaboom, the Canuck with all the luck, right?
Look who jumped 40 school buses and landed back into my life. Hi, Duke. Who's the cowboy? Duke, meet Woody. Woody, meet... Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Huh. Oh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Yes. Huh? He's posing. Huh. Duke. Duke, we need Hold to... Hold on. One more. Oh, yeah. You know, Forky is a, yes, ri is a riot. Yes, Canada. Forky. Hilarious. So, I don't know any one favorite. Hard to They're pick all a favorite. good. Um, but again, the Gabby, the new character, good. Um, what was it? Giggles? Giggles Mc... Giggles McDimples. Hard to say. Fun, fun character. She's um, almost like Bo Peep's little conscience on her shoulder, right? Like, I feel like she's always like. Like her conscience on her shoulder. Yeah, and I love the, the the way the character Bo Peep ended turned up. Into she a turned badass. into this like ninja-like badass yes. street. She's yes. like the lost the lost girl. toy that like they live on the street. You know? Right. Yeah. So that that's all interesting. Um, yeah. So I don't. I, I guess no one favorite character. It's hard to pick a favorite. I mean, it was great that they put in those the Bensons. I think of those creepy trans. Well, she uh, called the one Benson the dummies. The they're those called Bensons. creepy weird. They ran they're, um, like with their arms hanging down. There's a reason for that. Well, they're totally they're, um, creepy. they're um, like marionettes. No, they're they're ventrilo uh, ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Puppets? It's hard to say. I know. Ventriloquist puppets, which is why they intentionally made them their arms flop like that and their legs bend backwards because that's the way they are. And some people have the theory that that's why they don't talk in the movie because because they don't have someone to. Because oh, they can't. They, it would need a person. That's brilliant. Of it would course. Need a person like, to make them to make yeah. them talk. Some of your favorite scenes from this one? There's so many. The whole opening with Andy, unexpected, wasn't expecting to see him, so that was sweet. Of course, having to relive that scene, that, although it's very, very brief, that scene with him and Bonnie in the front yard giving the toys away again. Um, the ending, the ending, so there's a subtle scene at the beginning where Bo Peep is in the box and Andy puts his hands over the, uh, Andy, Woody, puts his hands over the edge of the box, right? And he's in this moment of, should I stay or should I go, right? And he decides to stay. And then towards the end, it's almost the same moment all over again, where they're at the top of the carousel and he has his hands over the edge, right? And it's he and Bo Peep. And he, right. he Which makes that's a why different I, decision. I think the ending was the right ending based on that first scene where, that, where he's, He's gonna go, he's gonna go, and then he doesn't, but then he regrets right. it kind of and ends right. up going. Yeah, some of my favorite scenes. The, um, the scene where Woody had jumped out the RV to go get Forky. Well, first of all, him yelling, I'm litter, and he jumps out the right. window. But then when they're, when Woody finds him and he's like frustrated with him, and he's dragging Forky, oh. and he's like mad. Carry me, carry me. No. Carry me? No. Carry me. And then he, they had the conversation, and that's so Forky has his transformation while yeah. they're walking. And then he realizes he, he grasps why Bonnie needs him. And then he's like, oh, we have to get back to Bonnie. And then. I'm sorry. And then, and then he wants to get back now. And then it, then, then they become friends, and it, it, the, the scene goes to Woody talking about like his background, and oh, and, and, and Forky's like, and he thought Andy's room was another planet. That's ridiculous. That's what I thought. And they're like best of friends. And then the then the scene changes and, and, he's and what, he's, him. what he's carrying. So that was a great scene. Um, minor scene in the story, but well done was when the um, when they're in the, the the antique store and that antique baby carriage comes around with the creepy. The, you see the Benson dolls for the first time and Gabby's in it. That was that was a great yeah. scene. Um, yeah, lots of great scenes. The whole scene, I think, that played out. It's, it's a long scene when Duke Kaboom crashes onto the to the hutch across the aisle so they can get to Gabby, mm -hmm. and that whole thing, the way it plays out, getting there and then trying to get back with the cat and all. That whole scene is is really well done. Um, if you watch through the um, the credits at the end, there's a very subtle scene with um, Ducky and Bunny and Duke Kaboom where he's asking them do they really have lasers in their eyes or something and they they're like joking with him and he just goes whoa and it's such a Keanu Reeves sort of Bill and Ted type it's just this one little subtle it was hilarious to me that they threw that in there another well a funny scene would be when they're at the arcade game 
and, and Ducky and Bunny are like trying to swing over and they keep kicking Buzz in the head. Boop. <laughs> Ducky and Bunny are And then he hilarious. uses his inner voice and it says something about Space Ranger or something and he's like, ah, and he closes the... My foot! Get him. Oh, get him. Uh, Bunny, what are you doing? Mm. I, I can't reach him. Help me out here. Come on. Oh, sorry, Ducky. I'm not a mind reader, you know. What, what's not to understand? Hmm? You want to make me say it? What? With these tiny legs, I cannot reach without your help. Oh. All right? Okay? This is what I've been talking about, Bunny. You need to work on paying attention and your listening skills. Ha! <laughs> How you like that, cheetah? Huh? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, to infinity and my foot! Boom! In a galaxy far, far away, you got kicked in the head! Boom! How do I get out of here? This planet is toxic. Closing how about to conserve oxygen. In the vacuum of space, they cannot hear you scream! So, right. lo lots of great funny scenes like that. So, visual, animation, obviously. It's Pixar. It's Does Pixar make a bad movie? I mean, No, the animation honest. was off the charts. Now, it, since the, I mean, the first one in 1995, for CG animation, it was like... It was like groundbreaking. It was groundbreaking. Right? And, and the advances have been just unbelievable. And one thing that people compare, if you want to see the difference, look at the dog in the first one, who almost looks like a plastic dog, Monster? but he's supposed to be real. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then go to the scenes where the cat in the oh, antique yeah. store. Oh yeah, he looks like, he almost looks like a real cat. So the animation has mm -hmm. come a long way. It's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. In the scenes where they're like outside, the art, when the RV's traveling, like the scenes that there aren't like the characters in, you would think you were looking at an actual video yep. of outdoors. Yeah, that's a good point though about the cat. If you look at the cat, like when we when it when you first see the cat, I literally thought they. I'm like, oh, that's a little bizarre that they're using a real cat. You know, the animation he looks has so come real. so far. And, yeah. and I think this is the I think this is the 21st Pixar full length movie. So they've learned a lot. Like like the fur and stuff. They I guess they really perfected the the technology to generate fur like that was from Monsters Inc. Was the first one where they generated the algorithm for um, Sully. Yeah all of his hair. But there's so much detail in the animation that people don't know that I didn't really realize till I started looking into it. Things like the toys are all accurately weathered for their age. Meaning that if you look mm -hmm. at if you look at Woody, he's frayed, he's got like dirt smudges on his hand and some dirt smudges. Buzz's he's been played with Buzz's stickers are like worn and some are peeling and bubbled mm -hmm. and Jesse's hat it's got like loose strings hanging off of, of it. Of course. So the animation think detail of everything. is just amazing. Animation-wise, like all of the lights at the carnival, like mm -hmm. millions of lights were all animated with all the actual lighting characteristics. If you look, like when they're in the antique store, the dust particles, yeah. the shadows, the light, the reflections. I mean, they go by that like grandfather clock, and as they're going by it, you can see the like the light and the sun moving. It's it's amazing. And then I won't get into it, but the whole they do things in the animation which simulate lenses and tricks that you do with actual photography that like true cinematographers and, and, and photographers realize that they they simulated like special lenses they use in cinematography in an animated film that there is no lenses but they replicated lenses that are used in cinematography. You're totally geeking out right now. And, and it's lost on a lot of people but my, it was lost but on my, me. But my so point is the it. animation yeah. is off the charts. And then we usually talk about music or soundtrack but Randy Newman. Again, right? yeah. It, I mean, it's you have yeah. to have that. You no one else bad. could do it. It couldn't, but it couldn't be, be a bad. Toy Story without oh, it. Totally. And then the Ballad of the Lonesome Cowboy, which kind of must be in there somewhere, but sung by Chris Stapleton. Nice. Which I didn't Love recall him. it. I saw that in the credits, and then I didn't realize. I don't. I'm left to go back and find that song in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I was a lonesome cowboy. Pixar Disney is big on. Easter, Easter eggs. eggs. So a few that I read about in the, you know, most of them are in the antique store, I'm sure. But because there's ten, they, they rendered ten thousand different items in that. Oh, I'm not surprised. So things like uh, the barracuda that eats everybody at the beginning of Finding Nemo is, is in there. He's stuffed it on the wall, so he got he got what was coming. I'm gonna have to watch this again. Carl's cane from Up is on one of the shelves. No. 
There's a, what is it, Lux, Lux, Luxo Ball? Luxo Ball? There's a Luxo Ball in there. Um, so there's How did I miss lots all of this? Of, there's lots of little, there's lots of Easter eggs. The only one I saw, and you had to point it out for me, was oh. when, when Molly first goes, Molly, when Bonnie first goes to kindergarten, Boo is in the room. Boo is in the room, Boo and also, room. when they go to the arcade game, and the, there's a little girl that's like, when they first show the arcade game, the girl that's shooting it that loses, that's Boo too. That's Boo as well. I don't remember that. Yeah, so um, they, there's, a, there's a lot of them, but for instance, the, the delivery truck that's out in front of the um, antique store at one point has the same license plate as the moving truck when Andy moved. Um, the scene where the carnival working kid comes yep. out of the porta potty and he picks up Buzz on the ground, he's got the Pizza Planet truck tattooed on the back of his leg. Stop it. So there's this host. Like, license plates are big. Like, a lot of the license plates will be like the address of Pixar Studios yeah. and stuff like that. So lots of Easter eggs. So, all in all, I thought it was. I oh my God, it was amazing. So, of course. But, like we said, we're kind of. We're fans Toy of the Story, Toy people. Story thing. So, yeah. didn't have to. The story didn't have to continue, but I'm they, glad it did. they did a great job. I'm at glad it, it did. And I, I would not be like in protest if they rolled out another one a few years from now. But maybe, maybe I it really know. is. The last one. I don't know. I know. I said this at the end of three. I don't know how. I don't know how they could do a five. But they made us to do a four, and it was amazing. So I, I'm not going to doubt them anymore. If they want to do a five, I'm all for it. So there you go. I would watch Toy Story four. Leave us a comment below. Again, one lucky random commenter below will get our copy of Toy Story 4, which the last movie we gave away, we said we had watched once. This one has a couple views on it because Karen watched it twice. She cried at the end of it watched both it times. Twice, both times. Can't help it. Sobbing. So there you go. Sobbing. And if you want to catch the next episode of Hughes and Views, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And until the next time. Cheers. cheers.